Hey guys, sorry for not posting a video in a while, but I'm going to go ahead and make this video on how to treat shell rot, injuries, and fungal infections in turtles. So let's get right to it. This is Eclipse, my new radiator slider. He's actually my rescue. Um, if you can't tell, he is missing his leg and he has a lot of shell problems and skin problems. Um, and he's missing that leg, so that's also a big problem. Um, his skin's kind of white, and it's not very good. Um, I'm thinking it's fungus, or he just got it from the injury that he got when he got like his arm bit off. So I'm just treating that right now, and I'm going to show you all how to do that. All right, guys, so this is Eclipse. He's missing his front foot. Um, I'm guessing it got bit off by like a turtle or a bird or something. His bone's sticking out, it's not that great. Um, he also has shell rot, I'm thinking it's shell rot. Or he got it from like whatever attacked him. And then I think what he has on his skin is a fungal infection, so I'm basically gonna be showing you guys how to treat all three of those. Um, it's mainly the same thing, but yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, so first you're gonna need iodine or betadine. It's like this, this little solution. Um, and this is basically what you're gonna use to tr help treat the infection they have or whatever problem they have. Um, and then you're gonna wanna get some toothpicks or something to put the iodine or betadine on the infected areas. Um, you don't have to use toothpicks. I just use this for his arm because I don't wanna touch it and I don't wanna hurt him. Um, I also use this to put it on his feet because he has some scrapes on his feet. Um, but I also use my finger. I just put drops on his shell, smear it around, and that works perfectly fine. Um, and also, you're going to need a tub to put them in. I have my UV light right here. I'll get to that in a second. So, let's go get the turtle and... Okay, so once you get your turtle, you're going to want to make sure that their shell is dry, um, as dry as you can get it. And then, you're going to get your iodine, and as you can see, I just shoved some in a bottle cap. So, I can dip the toothpicks in it and use it just like right away. Okay, so you're gonna wanna get your iodine and then your turtle. Um, what I do is I just drop a few drops on the shell um, and smear it around. You can do this for fungal infections. Um, you can do this for like fungus, shell rot, anything that's really wrong. I use this for everything basically. It helps like a lot. Um, I use this all the time when they have a problem. Um, but yeah, all you do is just smear it around in the area if you want to use your finger. If not, you can use a toothpick. That is perfectly fine. And he has a few spots on his plastron, so I'm just going to smear that around. Um, and that's good for now. And then what I do is I get my toothpick. I just shove it in the iodine and let it absorb. And then um, I put it on his skin. I don't know if you can see that, but I just dab it on. I don't want to hurt him because... He's missing an arm, basically, or hand, whatever. Um, and sometimes it doesn't work, so I'll just like put a little drop down in there. Not a big one. Do not you do you do not want to get this in his eyes. Um, it's not very good. So um, yeah, you don't want to get this in his eyes or his nose or his mouth. Um, so it's best to just keep it away from those areas. Um, he has a few things on his feet. He's pretty scarred up. Um, and then once you've done that, you just grab them and place them in the little bin. I let him sit under this UV light for a few hours. Um, then I take him out. You want to rinse him off thoroughly, make sure there's no more iodine on him. And then um, put him right back in his cage. So see you all in a few hours. Okay, so you're going to want to put them in a dry area because they need to, um, the iodine needs to dry off and, um, you can't have them in water because they might drink it or it'll get inside of them. That's not very good. So you want them to be in a dry container. Um, I put him under a UV light because his tank, he doesn't have a UV light. He has a heat lamp on it because um, I don't have two lamps for him. So I do switch it out. And he goes in the sun a lot. Um, and he gets his UV light for a couple hours a day. So that's good. Um, and I think I'm going to switch out his... UV and heat every day, like a few hours for one, a few hours for the other, um, but he's doing a lot better. Okay guys, so once they have been dry docking for a couple hours, you pull them out and make sure that their shell isn't really sticky anymore and it's not wet. 
Um, and then you go rinse them off. So that's what I'm about to go do right now. So once they're done dry docking, you just want to bring them to like a sink or whatever and um, rinse off the iodine and uh, make sure there's none left. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. And I'll come back once I'm done. Just repeat this process until it heals up. Um, and once it's healed up, I would just do it a little bit more to make sure it doesn't come back and they should be fine. And I will keep updating you guys on how this little guy is doing. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this video will help you out if your turtle ever has any fungal infections, injuries, or shell rot.